introducing Spotlight, the SpO2 functional tester that's the newest member of the ProSim family and its use with the Impulse 7000 defibrillator transcutaneous pacer analyzer. And we're going to test a defibrillator that has both pacing and a pulse oximetry built in. It also has shock advisory in an AED mode that we're going to test. So we'll do a pretty thorough test following as closely as possible the manufacturer's written recommended procedure for doing this test. My friend Jamie Smart is going to read the manufacturer's tests that we're doing and I will perform the tests using Spotlight and the Impulse 7000. So Jamie, if you're ready. I'm ready, thanks Jerry. So the first thing that we wanted to do was connect the five lead ECG cable between the device under test and the Impulse 7000, as you can see on the video. We're now going to program the Impulse 7000 output for a 60 beat per minute NSR. Set up for 60 beats per minute, normal sinus rhythm. We're going to set the device under test lead selection to lead one. Setting to lead one. Lead, now set it to lead two. <laughs> Setting to lead two. Remove the left leg lead from the patient simulator. Removing the left leg lead from the patient simulator. Verify that the device under test displays a left lead off screen message. The left leg lead off screen message is displayed. Now reconnect the left leg lead. Reconnected. Remove the right arm lead from the Impulse 7000. Right arm lead removed. Now verify that the device under test displays a right arm lead off screen message. Right arm lead off screen message displayed. You can reconnect the right arm lead. And remove the right leg lead from the Impulse 7000. Removing right leg lead. Verify that the device under test displays a ECG leads off screen message. The ECG leads off screen message is displayed. Now you, want to now you want to set your device under test lead selection to lead one. Lead one selected. Remove the left arm lead from the patient simulator and verify that the device under test displays a left arm leads off screen message. Left arm re removed and the left arm leads off screen message is displayed. Now reconnect the left arm lead. Reconnected. Set your device under test lead selection to lead C. Lead C selected. Remove the C lead from the Impulse 7000 and verify that the device under test displays a C leads off screen message. C lead removed. C leads off screen message displayed. Now reconnect the C lead and continue. C lead reconnected. At this point, we want to also make sure that the alarms are on on our device under test. Um, alarms are on. Let's make sure we have a 60 beats per minute. And I want lead two. Quick set. Alarms are on. At this point, we're going to test the delivered energy. So we will set up the device under test and the impulse using the quick connect cables. Quick connect cables and the quick connect cable adapter is connected to the impulse 7000. We're going to select the energy select button and select two joules. So I've selected defib, energy select, and um, we're setting um, for two joules on the defibrillator. Two joules is selected. Now we'll press the charge button and wait for the device under test to reach a full charge. Charging, discharging. 2.0 joules measured. Well within the acceptable output of one to three joules. Now we want to take the energy level up to 70 joules. Increasing the energy level to 70 joules. The acceptable output at this level is 65.1 to 74.9 joules. We'll press, we will once again press the charge button. Charging, discharging, 70.2 joules measured. 
And finally, we'll take the device up to 360 joules. Increasing energy to 360 joules. Once again, we press the charge button. Charging. Discharging. 363.7 joules measured. Within the acceptable range of 335 to 385 joules. Now at this point, you want to change your ProSim Spotlight to Custom Setting 3 for hypertension. Custom Setting 3 selected. Also, you want to set the wave on the Impulse 7000 to VFib and the Convert to No Convert. VFib selected on waveform. Wave conversion set to no convert. Now to test the <coughs> AED functionality, we want to press analyze on the device under test. Pressing the AED mode analyze button. Discharging, 201.0 joules measured, no conversion. Now we want to change the Impulse 7000 to convert the waveform. Wave conversion, change to convert. Again, we will press Analyze on the device under test. Pressing Analyze. Discharging, 301.5 joules measured. Well within the acceptable range. At this point, we want to check the synchronous conversion R-Wave. First thing we do is we change our Impulse 7000 to sync test mode, adjust our wave to sinus tachycardia, and our heart rate to 180 beats per minute. We are in synchronization test mode on Impulse 7000. The waveform selected is mono VTAC at a rate of 180 beats per minute. The other thing that we want to check on our spotlight is that we have it set to custom 3 test. Selected custom 3 test on spotlight, heart rate of 180 beats per minute, and an oximetry reading of 85%. We want to set the device under test to manual mode the ECG size to one, and the lead selection to paddles. Size of ECG is one. Paddles selected. Press the sync button on and select local. Sync button is on, LED is flashing. Charge the device under test to 10 joules. 10 joules selected. Charging. Discharging, 96 milliseconds measured. Which is above the recommended 60 milliseconds, so we should run this test one more time to confirm. Verifying 10 joules selected. Synchronizer is turned on. Sync markers are marking the R waves. Charging, discharging. 33 milliseconds measured. Well within the range of 60 milliseconds or less. Finally, we will move on to our pacer testing. So for this test, in order to select the proper loads, I will move the connection to the pacer posts I'll select pacer mode on Impulse 7000 and ensure that the brand of pacer is selected. This automatically selects my load value and that I, my input jacks are, are selected for the pacer posts uh, to which I've just connected. And then I'll press done. Impulse 7000 is set up for pacer measurement.
In order to get the device under test ready, you will need to press the pacer control on the device under test. Pacer is selected, LED is lit. Now we want to disconnect one of the test post adapters from the Impulse 7000. Verify when once disconnected, the pacer stopped connect electrodes overlay appears along with an audible alarm. Disconnecting one of the leads. Pacing, pacer stopped uh, and the symbol for connect electrodes is displayed and the alarm is sounding. Reconnect the test post adapter and verify that the connect electrodes disappears and that the alarm stops. The display is disappeared and the alarm has stopped. Now we want to do the pacer output measurements. At 40 ppm rate, press the device under test current button to select a pacer current of 10 milliamps. 40 ppm selected, 10 milliamps selected. Verify that the Impulse 7000 indicates the pacer output current is within the range of 5 to 15 milliamps. The amplitude of the current measured is 12.66 milliamps. Now, take the current level up to 50 milliamps. Increasing current level to 50 milliamps. Ensure that the, that the output on the Impulse 7000 is between 45 and 55 milliamps. The amplitude output is 54.3 milliamps. Now we want to take the current to 100 milliamps, verifying that the output is between 95 and 105 milliamps. 100 milliamps selected. Measured amplitude is 104.3 milliamps. Now take the current level up to 150 milliamps. The output should be between 143 to 158 milliamps. 150 milliamps selected. The measured amplitude is 155.4 milliamps. And finally, we will take the current level up to 200 milliamps, verifying that the output is between 190 and 210 milliamps. 200 milliamps selected. The measured amplitude is 206 milliamps. This will complete our performance inspection procedure for this device under test. Now you've seen how we can combine the use of both Spotlight SPO2 functional tester and the Impulse 7000 defibrillator transcutaneous pacer analyzer to complete a defibrillator pacer test including the shock advisory AED mode and the alarm settings of the defibrillator.